Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be doing this really glittery halo eye. And um, as you guys can see, I've kind of balanced it out with a very neutral peachy brown lip. But I really love the way this turned out. I say that all the time, right? But I do. I really like the way this turned out. It's super sparkly and glittery and it's everything you would want for a holiday look. So I figured I would film this for you guys. I was going to do another one for you. Let me know down below if you're interested in me filming um, another Halo Eye using the Pat McGrath palette. I know. But I did use do something similar to this for my best friend's wedding. I, it's just I use the rose gold color and then one of the Marc Jacobs topper. It looked really pretty. But if you guys are interested in seeing another version of this, let me know. And I'm more than happy to put that together for you guys. But if you want to see how I got this look, then... Let's go. Good morning. It is 4.40. I'm getting ready for work. I'm using the Mirrored Invisible Perfecting Shield. It's Black Friday. And I have to work. The madness. Um, I'm tired. I hope you guys had a nice Thanksgiving. Um, we had a really small Thanksgiving, but it was nice. I'm so tired. My son got up um, at 3 and he's been doing this thing where he wakes up in the middle of the night, he cries a ton. So I just told my husband, I'm like, bring him in and then um, he's just, he wants to play for an hour before he goes back to sleep. My dress shampoo is showing. It took me a minute to get my life together today. <laughs> I'm going to take my Lane Low paint pot again. I have been really enjoying this product again i feel like it really helps keep my my shadows in place and i don't crease <gasps> is that a cut no i was gonna say <gasps> is that a cut so i was having i've been having nightmares lately i was dreaming that um <laughs> my son was sleeping on top of me which at the time he was he does this thing where he like wants to like nuzzle into my neck and I think that maybe that's what it was. Um, and then that my dog was biting the hand that was loose. And my dog is not aggressive by any means. And I'm like, what the hell? And I'm like, I kept trying to get him to stop biting my hand. He wouldn't. And I just, I had, I could feel like the panic setting in of him like eating my hand. And, um, and then my alarm went off. I know, weird dreams. I'm just taking my Studio Fix Powder in NC42, I'm sorry, NC40, um, to set this. Um, I think I may use my, my Natasha Denona Gold Palette. I wanna use it because I wanna sell it today. So I'm gonna take, let's see here, Aria, which is this shade right there, with a 224. And I'm going to just rock this into the crease. I have glitter all over my face. I don't know if it's from the Huda palette. I'm pretty sure that that's what it is because that's what I wore yesterday. And I did end up getting fallout. So I am debating on getting some more Smith brushes or Zoeva. I've never tried Zoeva. I've heard a lot about the brushes and the companies because of course you you see it on YouTube and you see a lot of people using them. So it seems like they are really good quality. And Zoeva's brush set just came back on their website. And uh, Zoeva also, did I say Zoeva? Smith Cosmetics, their brushes just came back, became available and then um, they also have, um, Zoeva has a Black Friday sale, so I'm like, I don't know what to do. And I get the pro discount with Smith Cosmetics, so I get a discount regardless. So maybe I will try Zoeva because I don't think they have a pro program, so I wouldn't be able to get a discount. I don't know. I gotta think about it. Okay, so I'm gonna take Log... 
no let's go in with teak which is this shade here and i'm taking this mac 2 i can't even read this anymore <laughs> and i'm gonna put this in the crease again just to add a little bit more depth um what else can i tell you guys i'm very tired and i feel like my thoughts are just everywhere i need some coffee which my husband is working on. I made him get up to make me coffee. I still need to curl my hair. So my cousin, he is a barber. And last night we were talking about my Dyson. And <laughs> he's like, man, he's like, that would be dope just to have. He's like, I don't really ever use a blow dryer on men. He's like, but you know, he was telling me about the Valero I can't think of the name of the brand now, but I actually had this um, blow dryer that I won when I first had my YouTube channel. Not this one, but I had one before this. And um, comment down below if you're from my first YouTube channel. Um, but anyway, so I had I had won this dryer, and it had a Ferrari um, engine in it. And it was loud, but it was powerful. Like, even my best friend, who was, like, super thick, curly hair, um, would use it. And we were all, her and my sister were just, like, obsessed with it because they had this thick, curly hair. And it would dry their hair really fast. So, now I'm going to take Log. Log is that color there. So, anyway, so then um, they would use it all the time. And I would use it all the time. And I probably had it for like 10 years. And then it just died. So, um, we, I'm like, oh, I need to replace it. But it was like 200 bucks. And I'm like, oh, I don't know if I want to spend that much. And then after that, I just started buying like little cheapy dryers here and there. Until I finally decided to get my Dyson. So he was like, well, why, why did you get the Dyson and not like the one with the Ferrari? I'm like, because it was so loud. And then I was showing him videos on it and he was just so impressed with how little it was and like what people were saying. It was funny. Long story short, we, we were just having a grand old time. <laughs> so as you guys can tell, I'm doing a halo eye. I figured this would be, it looks messy and that's okay. It looks messy and that's okay. I'm gonna take a fluffy brush and I'm just going to start blending the edge of this out. I woke up with this Aventura song in my head. I may just end up listening to Aventura on my way to work. I'm hoping that my day goes by fast. Like, I don't wanna have it drag, which I'm pretty sure it will because if it is busy, Comment down below also if you're a Black Friday shopper. I've done it once, not for me. I'm gonna go back in with Teak, which is this little brown shade here. Um, I'm just not, I naturally, I, I would, don't like going shopping. Like I don't, I'm not like, I know it sounds weird. I don't like going into the stores and if I have to go to the stores it's like I already know what I need and or I want to do like a quick look and then be out I'm not like like my mom and my older sister they love to just kind of look around and I'm gonna take Kava which is this beautiful gold shade I'm gonna use my fingers with it um oh that's pretty it's just not my cup of tea. I'm more of an online shopper. I'm definitely an online shopper. All right, so for my concealer today, I'm gonna to be using the Tarte Shape Tape. And then right after that, I'm gonna go in with my Dior foundation. And I am going to do this off camera along with my eyebrows and mascara because you guys have seen me do that a million times. And I'm trying to make this video as short as possible for you guys. Ooh, good morning, baby. All right, guys, so I'm going to take Tantastic by Marc Jacobs and my Becca brush. And I'm going to... Well, you guys with routine. I should just start eliminating this part out, too. 
And then if you guys are wondering, the mascara I have on is the NARS, uh, I don't know what this is called, Climax, I think. And I have on my Dior 3D primer, which I love, my lash primer. And again, I'm just buffing this into the skin and I'm not like trying to contour or anything, I'm just buffing up. So I'm gonna go ahead and just put a little bit of this mascara, the MAC Extended Play Giga Black Lash Mascara on my lower lashes. And I'm probably not going to add anything on the lower lash line because, other than mascara, because I don't want um, like a super dark smoky eye. So what I will tell you so far about the shades that I've used, they're really pretty, they blend out really nicely, but the, the gold shade that I use in the middle, it's probably more of a topper than an actual eyeshadow. And I did end up in the process of applying my shadows. I did end up getting the glitter mixed into the dark brown shade and into the crease. So if you're somebody that doesn't like to have glitter all over your eye, I would go in first with a glitter glue, which is what I did after. Just to really, because I wanted to build up the, the gold some more. So I ended up um, doing that. I mean, it looks pretty, but it mixed. For my blush today, I'm going to be using this Revsale, or yeah, I think it's that's how you say it, um, palette by NARS. And I'm going to go in with that shade right there. And this is a MAC 137 brush, so I'm going to use this. Wait, I almost dropped it. On my cheeks as a blush. And then it also is acting, of course, as a highlight, which is what this is intended to be. But every now and then you just gotta try something else, right? I'm gonna take a little bit of Becca's, what is this called? Wild Honey. And I'm just going to mix that into the highlighter. Because I want a little bit more pigment. For my lips, I ended up using Max Taupe Lipstick and Pat McGrath's Buff Lip Liner. All right, guys, this is the final look. Look at that highlight. I hope that you guys enjoyed this. Please be sure to like this video. Leave a comment down below. I want to get to know you guys. And I don't ever hear from you. And subscribe if you haven't done so already. I hope that you guys had an amazing holiday. And I look forward to seeing you guys in my next video.